Yo, Marcel Fischer here again, and today I'm back with a new league racing video, and as you see, we are in Baku, and I'm on my last lap in qualifying on the medium tires. At the moment, I'm in P2 with a 137.4, but I know I can drive a bit faster than that, so I did a second lap on the tires, and I did a 37.2, which is pretty good on medium tires in Baku, and in the end, I was third in the qualifying, my teammate just behind me, and I was just about two tenths down on pole on the harder tires, and here you can see the formation lap of the race with the predicted pit stop strategy, but my strategy wasn't in there. I plan on mediums and then go on to hearts. And we have five lights on. And lights out. And away we go. And I have a pretty decent start. Already next to James. And I'm at the outside of turn one. And I'm ahead. Going into turn two. I have the better line now. And he decides not to fight this anymore. And... I'm in P2 now. Ahead of me is now Simon and I have to try to stay close to him because DRS is very powerful in this game. When we have a replay of the start right here. As you see I have a pretty good reaction time and also my initial getaway is really good. And then I have the better line around the outside of turn 1. And back to the race now. Into the castle section. We are still at lap 1 and I'm just about half a second behind Simon. and. Oh, that was very close uh, with the wall for him. And I try to stay very close to him. Seven tenths is the gap now because DRS is so powerful. And the end of lap two now. And I set the fastest lap of the race. And I could stay within one second of Simon ahead of me. And that means I will have the DRS now. And that really will help me. So DRS is activated as you can see in the uh, rear mirror. Um, the DRS flap is open and I can stay with him and I felt very confident um, that I can overtake him. So also through this first sector I stay close to him and I know the soft tires aren't that good and they fell off pretty uh, soon and the medium tires uh, around Baku are pretty decent in the race so yeah I also felt very confident and Simon again started to struggle a bit and then he hit the wall and ghosted and I know that means he has wing damage and also at the end of the lap we have a virtual safety car and he decides to pit. So now I'm in the lead. My teammate also on medium tires now behind me. But I have a gap of about two seconds already now. And that really helps me because he can't profit from my DRS. And a few laps later we are at lap 9. The gap is at about three seconds and we have a safety car now. I planned to pit between lap 9 and 11, so it was just perfect. I'm going into the pits now. My teammate tried to uh, create a big gap behind, so he will not be held for so long in this game because the pit stops for double stacking are still shit. But yeah, I'm on the hard tires now and I'm still in the lead. My teammate just behind me and we are going to the restart now. Safety car goes in this lap. 14 laps remaining in this race and the last uh, straight is so long in Baku that means you want to go full throttle as late as possible so the guy behind will not have a big slipstream effect and then I decided just here to go full throttle but I didn't surprise my teammate behind uh, as much as I wanted and he's very close you can see him in the rear mirror just about one tenth behind me the, but then I stayed ahead uh, after turn one and then I know okay I was confident I can win this on pure pace um, I think I'm the fastest car at track but then I saw Simon in third place is on medium tires and I know that will be a hard challenge to stay ahead of him on the harder tires. He now overtook my teammate and he's behind me just about seven tenths. But then at the castle section, 
he closed the gap to about four tenths of a second, half a second now. And then I have a pretty decent run through this turns here. And then I saw the gap climbing to seven tenths, one, ten, uh, one second. So that means he will not have the DRS. And one lap later, the gap was already at 1.7 seconds. And then Simon retired. I think he crashed in the castle section with wing damage that he had from the incident before. And we have another safety car. And again, I have to do a good restart. Uh, I'm warming up my tires now. And then I decided to restart a bit later than the lap before. But again, my teammate was very close to me. But then he got a five second time penalty because he um, touched with James in third place. But then again, I could stay ahead after turn one. And then I know, OK, I just have to do my laps. Oh, big uh, oversteam moment there at the exit. But I know I can do this at the castle section then. My teammate behind had a big problem and spun, so he is almost last place now. And James behind me, about two seconds is the gap now, and nobody could challenge me. So the race is over. I won with a gap of 5.8 seconds ahead of Zipbeutel in the Alpine MP2. And I was very happy about this result, but... This wasn't the only race we are doing. This is the SimRC Friday League, German League. And in the Friday League, we are doing two races. The first race is with the starting grid of qualifying. And then the sprint race, the second race, is from the old rules from F2. That means the top eight getting reversed. So I'm starting in P8 and it's a heavy rain race. As you can see here, I'm already up one place now. And then I'm at the inside, side by side with Rutemium. I pushed him a bit wide, sorry for that. But I'm in P5 already now. And then I can also overtake Costi going into turn two. I'm at the inside line and I have a better exit. We have a replay of the start right here. James in front of me. I have a pretty good run down to turn one in wet conditions. Now the little incident with Rotamion where I pushed him a bit wide. But I had also the inside line. So it was my right to do that. And he didn't uh, uh, lost so much because of that. And then into turn two I also caught over take Costi. That means I'm in P4. I gained four positions already in the first two turns. And now ahead of me is Mike E racing. And it seems like he struggled so much in the rain. And I know Inception and James are incredibly fast in the rain. So I have to clear Mike as soon as possible. And we are going side by side into turn 7, I think, or 8. But then into the castle section, you can't overtake. So I decided to back out of it. But Mike was so slow and I lost so much time. As you can see on the left now, already 2.6 seconds a gap to James from Mike. And I know I can't... Uh, lose much time anymore but we have a virtual safety car but the gap to the guys in front of me is already so big i have to clear mike e-racing very quick to have a chance uh, of the win and then uh, the, uh, the safety car was out and then mike touched the wall at the castle section and i don't know why this happened but inception and mike going into the pits so that means I'm in P2 behind James now. And we have the safety car restart here now. This was the first time where I'm not the leading car. And James decided to go full throttle quite early and surprised me there a bit. But I could stay with him. Costi behind me wasn't a big challenge, I think. No, I or can't see him in the rear mirror. Yeah, he's one second behind me. So... Um, I know James is incredibly fast in the way because he's also uh, on the pad. And James crashed as well in the castle section. So that means I'm now into the lead of the race after starting in P8 in heavy rain conditions. So this time I'm leading the safety car restart in the wets. And I also decided to go full throttle quite early and the eternity behind me. Just three and a half tenths. He had much better straight line speed than me. But I know if I can stay ahead of him after turn one, it will be pretty easy. Bit of oversteer there at the exit. But as you can see already now, eight tenths of a gap. And then we jumped 
forwards a few laps and James meanwhile decided to pit for intermediate tires. I said the fastest lap of the race, but uh, James did a fastest lap as well, over one second faster than my lap on medium tires. He's three, four seconds behind me now. He has also four laps remaining. And Jeff already said the inters are on similar pace than the wets. That means the track is drying pretty uh, good and the inters will be faster and faster for every corner than uh, my wet tires. And I really struggled on traction because the tires also um, starting to overheat now. We have again a yellow flag, but nothing happened. James behind me, one tenth of a second behind me. You can see him in the rear mirror. And he was much, much faster at this point uh, of the race now. And I know it will be pretty tough to defend this position. Also at this exit here, he's so close behind me. And I have to be careful in this corner because my tires are so hot from uh, the second sector. And now on the start finish straight, I try to cool them down as much as possible. And I had to use all my ERS to stay ahead of James. But now again, my tires are really hot going into the castle section. And he's just in my gearbox, half a second behind me now. Two tenths now on traction because I had uh, oversteer moment. And then I know these corners here are pretty tough. And as you can see here now, uh, one correction. And I think... Just now I can go full throttle on the wets in these conditions. Um, yeah, but Zipoidl behind us in third place has the same struggles uh, as I had. And we are at the penultimate lap of the race and James is into the asses very close behind me and my tires are so hot so I have to be very careful and he can go full throttle so much earlier. You can see him in the right rear mirror and now he's side by side with me. At this point I thought okay maybe I can stay with him uh, at the start finish rate. Uh, into turn one he can break a bit later than I can so I have no chance and at this point I know okay the win is gone. He has to do a pretty pretty big mistake so I can have a chance of the win again. But I know that's done. Um, at we When we are at the castle section, he's already 2.7 seconds ahead of me. And my tires are so hot on this point. As you see the corrections on the steering wheel, I have to do pretty close with the wall there. And now 4 seconds already, 4 and a half seconds, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8. And at the end of the lap, 7 seconds. So in the last lap, the wets were about 7 seconds slower than the intermediate tires. But yeah, that's the result of the sprint race. So I came home in P2, which means four, uh, 12 points for me. And we have the um, standings at the moment right here. So I'm in the lead in the con uh, driver's championship after three wins in a row from both Monaco races and uh, the feature race in Baku. And so I have a gap of 59 points ahead of James and we have five race out of 12 already done so that's a pretty decent lead and in every feature race so far i was in the podium i was third in bahrain third in china i won in spain i monaco and i won in baku and also in the constructors championship with uh, inception we have a gap of 88 points already ahead of mclaren and 134 ahead of alfa romeo like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i see you soon with canada <music>